What's happening guys, Safety Liner C2 here. So about a month ago, I received this Collins brochure from 1985. It's in fairly good condition. It's a little bent because of the shipping. It just goes over, uh, you know, the different bodies that they offer and all the features and, you know, all of that stuff. So it's a, it's a nice brochure. I love this front picture on it. But the problem is, I didn't order this brochure. It just kind of appeared here one day. Uh, with this note. Hello, Cameron. I also have literature on Thomas, Bluebird, Wayne, and Superior school bus bodies and J. Madison chassis. Let me know if interested. Also, Stageway stretch limos. And that note is from someone who I had never talked to. I, I don't know this person, but they included their email address. So I shot them an email. And as I was doing that, I started asking my friends, hey, did you get this for me? Did you, uh, do you know anything about this? Blah, blah, blah. And everyone said no. And upon doing some more research while I was waiting for some responses, I found this brochure under the sold section on eBay. And it was sold within half an hour of its listing. And <laughs> I immediately knew that it was Noah who bought this for me, uh, and he confirmed that it was him. And, yeah, so this person finally responded to my email a couple days later. We started talking back and forth. He showed me some pictures of brochures, named a price, and now I have this package of brochures in front of me. So that is how Noah got screwed out of seven or eight school bus brochures. So let's open it up and see what's inside. All right. Now, as is the norm, I don't really remember what was in here, but I do know that there were some really good brochures in here. All right, so first thing we got this note. Hi Cameron, I hope you enjoy your brochures. Thanks for your purchase. I have additional school bus brochures and all the chassis uh, makers available. Let me know the makes that you're interested in and I can send you pictures. So, oh boy, more. <laughs> no, you really screwed yourself on this deal. Oh, that's too funny. I, I just can't get over the fact that this guy has more brochures and Noah has not been happy that uh, I got this deal that he very well could have gotten. So, because he sent this directly to me. He did not send it through, or he didn't buy it and do that. So, uh, yeah, okay. Anyways, let's take a look at these brochures. This one we're going to look at last because this is a giant brochure and because I see this one right here. So, obviously, we are taking a look at a C2 brochure. This should be pretty early, uh, 2003 maybe is my guess. So let's see, do we have a year in here anywhere? Copyright 2004. So, all right, yeah, look at this. FS65, the C2 over here, uh, HDX and Minotaur. I have seen all these pictures before online, but I think I said this in a previous video. It's, it's nice to have an actual physical copy of this stuff because... This is just, this is super cool, and obviously as a C2 fan, I I, I am very much digging this. Uh, and even if I wasn't, this is just a, this is a great brochure right here. I love that. So, uh, here's just a standard GM uh, school bus brochure. So, um, these are pretty common on eBay. You can get one of these fairly easily for pretty cheap, but let's see. Was there a year on this? Didn't see that. So, 1989. There's that. So, yeah. All right. Here's a good one. This is another really thick brochure. So we'll take a look at that one in a minute. The Wayne Bussett. Do we have a year on this? Hmm. Not a nothing. Okay. So let's just flip through here. See if there's anything interesting. So. Uh, over here, there are different sections for the different um, bodies that you could get them on. This is really nice. So, 
or uh, yeah so there's that pretty simple and then I don't know what this stuff is this is ooh superior I think I actually have this one I don't remember if I do or not is this a page or yeah that's just a single page right there so yeah that's nice I think I do have this one I'd have to double check but uh, let's see no year late 80s so yeah cool that's a good one all right 40 van now this is a very small manufacturer and one that i'm not really familiar with kind of looks like a little coach and equipment type deal in new york as i figured oh coach and equipment manufacturing coach and equipment 40 van yes that makes sense so yeah that's not something you see too often and was there anything else in there? Nothing else. So let's take a look at these brochures. I think Noah has a video of this one, so uh, you can go over to his channel and uh, watch that if you are so interested. So I won't spend too much time on this one. Uh, so I'll link that down below. I'll link Noah's channel down below. And also down below, you can find my Flickr, which will have pictures of every single page of these brochures and it plenty of other brochures and general school bus memorabilia if you are interested so here it looks like they're doing a crash test on that that's interesting so let's see yeah i've seen i, I think i think i have seen this uh, or it's looking familiar mainly just because of noah so, so, let's see. I've got optional equipment. Okay, let's see. What optional equipment do we have? Safety cross. That's that's really interesting. I didn't realize Wayne had a safety uh, thing. So, uh, yeah. Let's see. Side turn signals under storage. Uh, school bus sign. Uh, mud flaps. Let's see, step wheel shield and cushions provide additional safety. So I think they're talking about that thing right there. Let's see, and then different stop signs, luggage rack, that's a really interesting one. Uh, guardrail, um, more under storage. So, yeah, that's cool. That's a good one. Let's see, all the different door options. This is cool. Uh, obviously, the standard was just jackknife. Um... So, jackknife, one in, one out, which I don't think I ever realized that was an option on Wayne's this late. So, let's see, do we have a year on this? I don't remember if we do or not. So, it doesn't look like it, but, uh, and then of course we have the uh, dual outward doors, uh, fairly uncommon on Wayne's. This one even less common on that. Um, yeah, so that's not something you see too often, but yeah, Let's see, just some general maintenance. Okay, uh, early 70s, or late 70s, early 80s, that's what I meant to say. So, yeah, there's that one. And then this one, this is the one we're really, that I am really interested in, so... Form 81, so I assume that this is a 1981. Here's a picture of the Wayne plant. That's interesting. So, yeah, let's take a look at this. This should. This is the one I was most interested in. Have you seen it? No, I haven't. Okay, so there's something else. Ooh, okay. Okay, that's cool. So, hold on. Is this? Does that go to another page back here? Yes, it does. Okay, so... All right, that's a gorgeous picture right there, the Wayne B700, so, yeah, let's see, the famous Wayne rainbow seats, very interesting, let's see, just some standard body frames, again, the doors on there, crash testing, let's see, the introduction of that control panel, the biggest driver's window on any school bus combined 
with lifeguards, picture window, windshield, and larger side windows to provide unequaled all-around visibility, a tremendous assist for accident prevention at intersections, in heavy traffic, and on school grounds. Yeah, it does look pretty spacious, I gotta say. There's not, it doesn't appear to be many blind spots except for, obviously, that one right there, so. Yeah. Let's see, what else do we have? All of our seat colors. The AC and heating system. Hmm. This is really interesting. 14 steps to prevent uh, or to protect lifeguard against rust. So that's interesting. Galvanizing, uh, solvent cleaning, alkaline cleansing, rinsing with conditioner, zinc phosphate coating, clear water rinse, rinsing, acidulate rinsing for tighter bond, hot air drying epoxy paint primer, oven curing at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, cleansing with lactal spirits, spot priming, enameling with two coats, and oven curing again at 330 degrees. So, huh. Let's see. These are great pictures in here. Take Check that out. It's an old Wayne uh, service center. All right, standard features, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, look at this. They even have uh, Bluebird, Carpenter, Superior, Thomas, and Ward, so you really can compare what's with what. So I would be interested to take these pages and really do a comparison and see what has what based off of the time. I think I'm going to have to do that. I am really, really interested in doing that. So, let's see. Here's just this. The bus set. So, uh, and then standard features again for this. So, that's really, that's clever. So, and then the Wayne factory. So, let's see. So, over here is Ontario and the main plant in Richmond, Indiana. So, yeah, these are really good. I am very glad that Noah decided to screw himself out of the, out of the brochures. Um, he is not, on the other hand. So, uh, and I think I might have to message this guy back and see what else he has because uh, these are some solid brochures for a fair price. So, yeah. Like I said, all of the uh, pictures from these brochures, every single page, will be on Flickr. If you want to check those out and get a more in-depth look, I've started to scan stuff instead of take pictures of it on my phone so they're higher quality images and look better. Uh, link for that is down below. Also down there is Noah's channel because, you know, he originally bought this brochure. And yeah. So, thank you, Noah, for doing this for me. Greatly appreciate it <laughs> as much as you might not. Uh, and, yeah. So, anyway, guys, that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Always appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe right down here. It's a magical red button that says you are now subscribed to Safety Liner C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, over here, or over here. I don't know where they put it down in care where they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up or... Uh, this guy is not going to have any more brochures. <laughs> and make sure you also share this video with a friend. Show it to your mom. Show it to your dad. Show it to a guy on a random street. I don't care. Don't let anything happen to you. So yeah, guys. That's going to do it for this video. And thanks for watching.